line him up over here. Okay, I think now we're going to get into basically the standard cut. We know we'll do you know two at a time. Um, Entertainment Earth looks like. So these are either going to be vintage or um, black series because that's pretty much all I order from them. And again, these are things that could have come out literally a year ago. So, <clears throat> and do we have, yeah, we still have one, but a cool one. I'm excited. Nice packaging. What a superb packing job as, as they are known for. Oh my goodness. Oof. It's Omega. I can't, I can't do the voice, but. Wow, there's some there's some interesting uh, Omega on Camino, but what is this creature? That's cool. All right, so here's an example of a package. I'm going to split the difference. I am going. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to unbox this one yet. I want to wait and see if they create the one for the second season where she's got the helmet on, get a little bit more armor. I feel like that would fit better with. The rest of the bad batch i like this character okay the facial structure is awesome comes with a mask comes with the bow and arrow type weapon and some kind of a creature i was going to call it an isilamiri which is that force you know repelling force creature but um i like it i think it's really cool but i'm going to keep omega in the package i got a little space up there that i can actually line them up i did actually keep some of the figures together so i can actually line up uh, a set of them so that's cool. Um, but I don't want to take it out of the package just yet. I'm a little hesitant to take out pack, you know, when there's a lot of pieces to it, I either take it out but keep the package with some of the pieces stored in there and then, you know, I just store it in my little storage area and then later I might decide to switch it out or do something else with it. Or if I decide to sell it, it's easier to sell if I have that happen. Not that I'm having any plans on doing that just yet. But uh, the other reason is just that um, I don't want to lose the pieces. You know, I don't mind if a kid, if they have a weapon. That's why I love holsters. When it, when a weapon's holstered, then I know that they are going to be it's going to be safe. But if a figure, you know, because I had a situation where um, I had a whole set of figures that uh, fell over. I mean, I had a bookcase that was loose and it tilted, and then all the figures came crashing down. Well, that was a little bit frustrating because I had lightsabers everywhere and blasters everywhere. But many of the blasters were in holsters, so they were okay. And lightsabers, you can look at the hilt and mix and match and do that. And there are websites to help with that, but still. All right, so he's going to stay in the box for now. But if I do get another Omega, there hasn't been one announced yet. But if I get another second series, I mean, second season Omega, I might do that. All right, what do we got here? We got uh, whoop, another, ooh, okay, okay, another six inch. Ah, yes. It is now the Ahsoka from The Mandalorian. Awesome. This one we're unboxing. So, excuse me while I do this. Nice. All right. Yeah, um, Rosario Dawson. It's very interesting. There was so much, um, you know, nervousness, I guess you could say, about her taking over the role that they really hoped they would offer to Ashley Eckstein. I did not imagine that they were going to do that. I like Ashley Eckstein. I think she's an amazing voice actress, but she's not known for her um, stage acting, you know, stage or screen acting. She doesn't have a lot of experience. I think she played, uh, you know, Jan Brady on the, on the TV sequel of the Brady Bunch. It was, it was the Brady Bunch sequels to the Brady Bunch parodies that they made with like with uh, Shelley Long and, and and those actors and then they made a third one that was on TV and a lot of them didn't some of the original actors didn't appear but so including the Jan Brady but she played the Jan Brady I think that's how it worked anyway not that there's anything wrong with that you know she also played on a Disney Channel show early on but I do feel that this was a huge huge gamble and they needed somebody who was going to be a uh i don't want to say a sure bet but someone who's going to definitely be 
uh, you know, a better bet. So, and they came up, so they asked Rosario Dawson, whom was, you know, there was a lot of fan art for her. So some would call that fan service, but I'm here to say that I think it was a good call. Now, interesting, um, her, her legs are kind of bent weird. They don't bent, oh yeah, I guess they do. They have this really odd kind of thing with her, oh, they kind of snap in place, but um, I do like the arms. They kind of give you a little bit of leeway there. You know, you got, of course, you got the two sabers. They are white, good, good on that. All right, so excellent, excellent setup. So Omega and Ahsoka. I want to see these two buddy up for for a, for a show. I don't think. I guess they could, right? They could. I mean, there's no reason to think that Ahsoka couldn't end up helping the Bad Batch. But I guess maybe there's maybe there's a part of that story that we don't know. So, and of course, now does she pass the? She doesn't. You know, I, she doesn't have to pass the stand test because I do think that I'm going to set her up um, as on as a kneeling figure, but. Which is probably a good idea. Maybe I'll we'll just do this now. Because she doesn't stand that well. <laughs> there it goes. Perfect. You can stand her. We can put her like that. And she's really in good shape. So, And awesome Rosario Dawson look likeness. That's cool. Um.